Gurdeep Singh Bains. I'm 13 years old. I'm a Canadian Sikh. And I've been brought up in Chilliwack, British Columbia, with my parents and my brother. Every day, twice a day, I go to the field and I round up the cows and I bring them into the barn to get milked. Cows seem to give more milk when they uh, are relaxed and our cows just love Western music. All of us have our own responsibilities. And my dad, he washed out of the cows and uh, I put the machines in. My brother, well, he uh, sometimes goofs off, but and when he does do his work, he puts the grain to the cows. And there's Morris looking for some mice to chase. Some cows, after the machine's taken off them, they have some milk left underneath them. And here's Dad, he's stripping the cow, taking out the excess milk. That's manure you see flying all over the place. We got lots of it. And we use manure for fertilizer to make the crops go a little better. This farm is, I guess, it's a normal sized farm. We've got uh, 30 acres here. When the government raises the price of milk, we go to the auction and we buy a few more cows. It's hard to find out who's bidding. Some people nod their heads, some people just wave their hands, or some people just blink their eyes. These cows don't give very much milk. Does it do, Nelly? Yep. I went to India four months ago with my grandma, my brother, my mom, and dad. It was the first time for me, my brother, and my mom. It's Grandma's village? Yeah. Oh, right, that's right. There's the kids, yeah, these are your friend. friends yeah. in the village. Is you he... have to write to them, won't you? Yeah. Oh, that's right, too. Oh, and there's the guy who chose my dad to marry my mom. Yeah, well, for him, I wouldn't be here. Dad and the yeah. four brothers? He's right there. Is that him? What was yeah. his name? Um, Tarase, wasn't it? Yeah. I took this picture, didn't yeah. I? This is the one Dad hasn't got his beard tied, has he? Yeah. His dad's friends. We went to see most of the holy places, and the one I liked was uh, Armando Sab, the Golden Temple. Armando Sab, that's nice. Not too tight, no. Is it okay now? Yeah, no, it's good. People ask me, why do you wear a turban? Well, just like saying, why do you wear a pants? Well, I want to cover my legs. Well, it's the same thing. I want to cover my hair. It keeps my hair clean. Some people ask me, why do you wear a blue-cutter turban? 
I think it just looks good on me. Yeah, it's good. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I want a little more this way. Well, I can do it myself. Only thing, my dad, he does it a bit better than I can. Well, I shouldn't say a bit, I should say way better than I can. He's got that fancy curve and all that. Adds a little extra touch to it. Sundays we go to church and my grandma she picks us up and then she takes us to Vancouver to our temple. Hey, you the audience to see? Yeah. Oh, that's good. My grandmother, she uh she's a dairy farmer and she milks 30 cows every day. No, let, let, let me see. I'm, no, I want just a second. I just like you see. That's all. You know. In 1916, my uh, grandpa came here from uh, India when Canada needed people, and he stayed here a few years. And then he went back to India, married grandma, and they both came back in 19, I think it was 29. Okay. My grandmother wants us to learn about a religion. The people come telling, change you. Religion. He said, why? So he said, if you don't listen to us, we're going to kill you. And Guru, he said, we don't care. <laughs> we know against nobody. we lucky all. We are one. But he said, change. He said, no way. We're not going to change. We're going to stay what we are. Be proud. Khat ki ta jauga, tenu phansh ki ta jauga, o tenu bada tasiha de ta jauga. We'd rather die and no change religion. That's the meaning. Well, I guess you could say I'm an old timer compared to some people who have just recently arrived here in Canada from all over India, from mainly from Punjab. Like I said, my brother, Herbans, and I, and Grandma, we go to the temple, and well, my dad's always here, my mom, and my uncles, all three of them, and their family. We bow in front of the, the Guru Granth Sahib, our holy book. the chore over the Guru Granth Sahib, it's a sign of respect. The Sikh people, they do not smoke or drink because it's against their religion. We never ever cut our hair because we want to be natural people. And if you ever want to recognize a Sikh, you will uh, see they have a turban on and a beard Except the women who only have scarves over their head. There's only two people in our school who wear a turban. That's my brother and I. Well, some people, you know, you call your names, but you know, you're just equal to everybody else. All you're wearing is a turban on your head. It's not easy to be different because some kids always say, why should these guys be different? Everybody should be the same. Who are these guys? And that's some people's view, not everybody's. 
if you really want to know inside of me, I'm very proud to be a Sikh, and I'm going to keep my religion. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Cows deem to give more milk when they uh, are relaxed, and our cows just love Western music. All of us have our own responsibilities. When my dad, he washed sheep sing beans. I'm 13 years old. I'm a Canadian Sikh, and I've been brought up in Chilliwack, British Columbia, with my parents and my brother. Every day, twice a day, I go to the field and I round up the cows and I bring them into the barn to get milked. of the cows and uh, I put the machines in. My brother, well he uh, sometimes goofs off but when he does do his work he puts the grain to the cows and there's Morris looking for some mice to chase. Some 